Hey everybody, and good morning. If you weren't able to see it earlier today, Studio Wildcard finally dropped the ASA gameplay reveal trailer at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard as part of the Xbox Partner Preview Showcase. We're going to be doing a full breakdown of the trailer, but before we do that, I'm just going to play it once if you haven't seen it yet. If you already saw it, feel free to use the chapters to skip to the trailer breakdown. Huh? Alright, so that was a lot to take in, but we're going to jump right into it. The first easter egg is that this trailer opens up exactly as the Ark Survival Evolved reveal trailer opened years ago. Take a look. After that, I notice this large pillar. The island is the first map that the game is going to be released with, so it's the map that the trailer should take place on, but I don't recognize this pillar. So it looks to me like the island is getting completely reworked. There's some evidence to support this later, but this pillar definitely doesn't belong. We can also see that there's a dodo, pelagornis, and megalodon in the frame, so some of our favorites are making a return. In this next frame, we don't get much information other than a cool look at the dinos on the screen, being both the Diplodocus, Anki, Baryonyx, Pteranodon, Kirby, Parasaur, and Stegosaurus from left to right. Fast forward a little bit, and we do see that this Rex has colored scales, which means that multicolored wild dinos are making a return, or it could be a raised Rex. In this next frame, we see some ruins on the side of a cliff. This is really interesting because this confirms what we said earlier. This is not the island from Arc 1. It's pretty unlikely that it's a new map entirely, and I'll show you why later, but this means that we're getting a major rework of a map that we've known for years. This next scene with the bears is the first scene that I was able to quickly recognize and pinpoint the location of in the first game. It's here in the center of the island map, and there's an explorer note right next to them. We can do the same for this location as well. The cave where you got the artifact of the Skylord is right down there. Here's a side-by-side -side comparison of what old gen and new gen graphics look like. You can't fully appreciate how much better it looks until you see it like this. The next frame is a scene of a Titanoboa and Meganora doing their thing in the swamp. This thing is straight out of a National Geographic documentary and all it's missing is David Attenborough narrating, but seriously, the graphics look great. I'm having trouble pinpointing where this next scene is because there's three non-snow mountains on the island and it doesn't really look like any of them. If I had to guess, I would say it's Far's Peak, which is right here. I'm saying because it looks like the ocean is right next to it, but still, this doesn't look like any mountain we've seen in the past. Here, we get our first look at wild babies. If I'm understanding the dossier correctly, these are going to be tameable with the Gigantoraptor from Ragnarok, so don't expect to be doing that anytime soon. 
This next scene, we see that there are three survivors outside of a wooden house. It looks like the wooden textures are getting a full reskin, and we're also seeing some new structures like this part of the sloped roof. We also see that there are support beams all around the house. I'm not sure if this is part of the wall texture or pillars were placed afterwards, but I think PvE players are going to have a field day using the more aesthetic skins. And here we have a short little scene play out of a raptor stalking an Ovis. If you look in the back, you see what looks like a new ghillie suit. It looks like they were removing the grass covered ghillie suit from Arc 1. I'm not sure if this is customizable because it blends in with the environment really well, but I also feel like it would stick out like a sore thumb in any other environment. The other thing is that the raptor didn't notice the player. Maybe this is purely for cinematic reasons, or maybe the ghillie suit will start serving the role of the cactus broth and making you undetectable from wild creatures. Regardless, it's cool to see some new things. I don't see anything super special other than the castroids making a return. There's a megaloceros right there that looks pretty good, and there's the green ob. The basilosaurus does look cool too. I'm not able to recognize what part of the island that is, but as always, it's still cool to see some old creatures. Now this is where I wanted to pause, because in this scene we see the little orange dot running across the screen. Unfortunately, this means that the Trudon is making a return, so we can look forward to another few years of being knocked out randomly and being pissed off at the game. Here, we get a look at some of the old weapons. We see four survivors. One has a fab sniper, torch, assault rifle, and sword from left to right. One thing that I'm noticing here is that they're entering a cave, and the cave entrance looks absolutely massive. I'm not sure if this is a preview of the cave nerf, I know we were promised that certain dinos would be able to fit in the entrances. I'd assumed that they were doing away with crouch points, but this looks like we're going to be able to walk straight up to people's cave bases. Here they're giving us a look at caves that we've seen in the past. There's Carno Cave, that's an artifact, and there's what I believe is the Clever Cave. Take a look at it side by side. Next is our first look at the new supply drops. They had shown us this concept in the past, but we were under the impression that it was just a reskin. Turns out that they're doing away with the floating and spinning drops. The legs serve a function of grabbing onto the terrain. Hopefully this new model of drop solves the problem of supply drops being stuck under the map. After that, we get a look at the reskin to Sarko and the new cooking pot that looks exactly the same as the old cooking pot. And of course, before the music breaks down into the main theme, we get the classic T-Rex roaring over the hill. Just from looking at the terrain, I'm pretty sure that this is in the Writhing Swamps, but we can't be too sure. After that, we get our first look at the new Spino, also looks exactly the same as the old Spino, and then we get a cool little reference to the very first arc trailer ever, just like the start of this trailer. Check it out. After that, they cut back to a frame of the green obelisk. Here's a side-by-side -side of arc 1 versus arc 2. And then they cut to a scene with somebody using a rocket launcher and riding a raptor. I'm not sure if this means we'll be able to use any item on any creature, but the raptor is a pretty small mount, so I see lots of rocker running in our future if this is the case. After that, we get some pretty nice frames of the T-Rex and other creatures, and then they cut to this little snowy village, and there's a couple things to look at here. In this frame, we get to see the reskins for the box, chair, bench, and preserving bin, which are not super interesting, but we do see that little shed, and there's a lot of cool things with the shed. It seems pretty detailed with the pillars coming out of the side and the roof extending over the side of the shed, which means that the building is getting more in depth. I don't think this is going to have any PvP applications, but I'm sure the PvE players are going to love this just like they're going to love the next thing. After we see these mammoths wandering through the snow, we get to see this little wooden village, and you can see in the top right that there's some sort of gazebo figure. It looks to me that they're going in the direction of allowing any structure to clip to any structure, which is going to be really cool for all the PvE players who love building. I also see on the bottom left that there's a little shed attached to the larger building, so it looks like the days of boxy structures are past us. And finally, they close off the trailer with shots of the three original island bosses, being the Megapithecus, Dragon, and Broodmother, which look absolutely amazing. And interestingly enough, they decided to add the Enforcer on there. I think this is a nod to showcase Ascension, as tech is going to be in the game at launch, or maybe they just really like the Enforcer. Who knows? After that, we see the Arc 1 logo become the Arc Ascended logo, and that's it. That's everything for the Arc Survival Ascended trailer, which is coming out today for Steam users, I just found out right now, and November 6th for console users, if I'm reading this correctly. Yeah, it does say November 6th for console users. I'm sorry, you guys are going to have to wait two weeks, is it? Sorry, I'm kind of going on a limb here because I'm recording this live. I'm trying to be the first one to post a breakdown. But um, other than that, uh, my final thoughts, I think the graphics are amazing. Uh, we didn't get too much insight into the gameplay aspect of it. It is a remaster of the game, so you already know what you're buying. You know it. I know it. You love it. I love it. We've played the game for six years. Um, I tried my best to give insight on what I saw, but you know how wildcard is. 
they love gatekeeping things, and I have a feeling that we're not going to know too much about the game until it comes out at 4 p.m. today. So tell me your thoughts in the comments. Tell me if you're going to be buying the game as it comes out. I definitely am. I'm going to be making an ASA series, so please check that out if you're interested. I also created a community Discord that's linked in my profile and the description, so feel free to check that out and come discuss ASA with me and my other subscribers. I'm also going to be trying to start an ASA tribe. I'm not sure if that's going to work out, but I'm definitely planning on official small tribes today. I am playing with some of my subscribers, and we do have some open spots. So if you want to play with me, just join the Discord, send me a message, and yeah, aside from that, Hope you have an amazing day.